For practice it, self check 5.1 while loops. We are asked for each of the following while loops how many times each loop will execute its body. So if we look at number one, we see that we have int x is equal to one, and we're gonna run this as long as x is less than 100. However, in our while loop, we're manipulating our x to add 10 every single time. So the first time this runs, we are going to have the value one in our x. And so we're gonna just have tallies over here for how many times it will run. So we'll run once, and then x is going to be 11. So, and then it will run a second time. And then x is going to be equal to 21. This will run a third time. And then this will be 31. And this will run a fourth time. And next we'll have 41, which will run a fifth time. Now, if we look at this, we can see that for all of these um, front values in our 11, 21, 31, and 41, it is one more than that in our tally. So basically, when we have 41, we have five tallies. When we have 31, we have four tallies. And 21, we have three tallies. So if this is going all the way up to 91, and we're going to have one more tally than this number, that means that this is going to go to 10. So that's just simplifying the math that we have to do. And w number one is 10 times that this loop will execute. For number two, we have max is equal to 10. And this loop is going to run as long as max is less than 10. However, since max is already equal to 10, this will not run. So this will be zero. Next, for number three, we have x is equal to 250. And this is going to run as long as the modulus um, of 3 of it does not equal to 0. To get the modulus of something, we divide it like this, and we get the numerator. Or the um, we get the remainder. Well, if we do this, we would see that x does not equal 0. And there's nothing else in our code that manipulates x. So x will always never equal 0. So this runs to infinity. For number four, we have int x is equal to zero, or x is equal to two, and we're running this as long as x is less than 200. So the first time we run this, our x is going to equal two. We have one tally over here. Then we have x times x is equal to x. So we're going to have two times two is equal to four. We're going to have another tally because this loop's going to run again. And the next time we run this loop, we are going to have four times four, which will be 16, still less than 200. Um, so we're going to run it again. And then we have 16 times 16, which is, I think, 256, which is greater than the um, 200 right here. So this is only going to run the three times. It's going to run the first time for the two, the second time for the four, and then the third time for the 16. So now, those are all the answers for 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if we have them in here, we have 10, 0, infinity, and 3 written like this. Now we'll go on to 5 and 6. And for 5 and 6, um, for 5 at least, we're looking at word length. The first time this loop runs, we are going to have A, which will give it, we'll tally this still. So it runs once. And the second time this runs, it is going to have, uh, well, it's going to run a second time, and then it's going to have B, A, B. And then it's going to run a third time, since this is still less than 10. And then we're just going to have B, B, A, B, B, going with this part right here. And this has run um, 1, 3, and this one has 5 in it. So if we do this again, we're going to have two more b's, and this will be the length of 7. So we'll have a tally here. And if we run this again, we will have a length of 9, which is still less than 10, so we'll have another tally. But if we run it again, we're going to hit 11. And 11 is greater than this 10 right here, so we're going to not be able to run it a sixth time. So this is just equal to 5 runs. For number 6, we're running this as long as x is greater than 100. 
So the first time we run this, x is greater than 100. In fact, it's equal to, or it's greater than 0. It's equal to 100. So we'll have 100 here and a tally here. Next, we have x is equal to x divided by 2. And so x is 50. Then we have 2, like this. And then we're dividing x again. So we'll have 25. Then we have 3. And then since this is an int, we're, we're going to have we're going to round this down to 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And this is going to run again. And then after this, we have 12 divided by 2, because this will run again. And this is going to give us 6. 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. And that runs again. And then lastly, 3. We have 3, and we're dividing that by 2. And that is going to round down to 2. So 2 divided by 2 is going to give us 1, which is still greater than 0. So this is our last run. And if we do 1 divided by 2, we are going to get 0. And 0 is the same as 0. So this will not run. And this will only equal 7. So 5 and 7 are our last answers. And if we submit this, we have passed all 6 tests.